This is the Pro B660A DDR4 motherboard from MSI. It supports Intel LGA1700 CPUs, which at the time of this recording only includes the 12th generation from Intel, but the 13th gen are just around the corner, and motherboard manufacturers are going to be pushing out BIOS updates to add support for these next gen parts. So a 600 series chipset board like this one should stay relevant for quite a while. Let's get the board out of the way so we can take a quick look at the accessories first. These packs have some M.2 mounting hardware, and it's just the typical posts and screws that you're probably used to seeing. And this one has a locking mount where you can screw this into the board and then just slide that lock over to mount the drive into place. It comes with a quick installation guide with some pictures and a little bit of information to help you get the main parts set up and running. This little card talks about MSI's reward program. This one wants you to write a user review in return for some kind of gift. I'm assuming it's a Steam code or something like that since uh, they have a Steam logo right there. Here's some info about some uh, MSI's other products if you're interested in that. And this is a thank you card and it also talks about product registration. We got a DVD with some drivers and utilities. Now, I always like to download the latest drivers from the manufacturer's website, but hey, this is here if you don't want to do that. Here's an MSI case badge, you can slap that on your PC if you like the MSI logo. And they gave us two SATA cables for connecting drives. And finally, here's the rear I.O. shield. Now let's take a look at this board. Here's the LGA1700 socket, and this is going to support all the current 12th gen core CPUs all the way up to the high end Core i9, and the next gen CPUs via BIOS update as well. We have one 8 plus one 4 pin CPU power connector, which is important for higher end CPUs. And there's some nice passive cooling on here on the VRMs. We got our standard four DIMM slots on here, and these can support up to 128 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at speeds up to 5,333 megahertz. There's two M.2 Gen 4 slots, one here and one down here. The top one comes with a nice metal heatsink, and for additional storage, there's also four 6 gigabits per second SATA ports over here. We have two PCI Express by 16 slots and three by one slots, and this is important for GPU installation. Only this top slot with the metal reinforcement around it has access to the full 16 PCI Express lanes. The lower slot only has four, and that's a result of the bandwidth limitations of the B660 chipset. So make sure your GPU goes into that top slot. There's three internal USB headers, one here, here, and here. And this one here is for the front panel type C connectors. Audio components are all down here in the corner. It's a built-in Realtek ALC897 codec, and it supports up to 7.1 channel audio. There's a total of seven fan connectors on here. These two right up at the top are for a CPU fan and water pump. Then there's two system fan headers here, two more over here, and then finally one more right there. Now even though this board doesn't have any built-in LEDs, it does have one standard 4-pin RGB header and then two more 3-pin addressable RGB headers. So if you want to get some RGB stuff going on with your setup, you can do that with this board. The back panel has your audio connectors, six USB Type-A ports, the red ones are 3.2 Gen 2, one USB Type-C, a LAN port, and then we got HDMI, display port, VGA, and an optical port. So even though B660 isn't really intended for high-end systems or overclocking, there's still plenty of features here and a lot of connectors available so that you can use it to build a pretty solid system. Overall, I think it's a nice looking board from MSI, and I think there's probably going to be some decent deals on it as the next-gen chipsets launch in the coming weeks and months. Thanks for watching, and happy system building.